up, party people. It's April the Sci-Fi Mommy, and I meant to make a video yesterday, but with the way crazy things happen around here, just kind of roll with the flow. Yesterday was the 17th anniversary of my chest surgery, and I know that's kind of a weird thing to celebrate, but not really, because it saved my life. Um... So shout out to Dr. Zolfagari at Farrell Duncan Clinic and all of his wonderful staff who helped me through that whole ordeal. Um, it really opened my eyes and it helped me move forward in life to do bigger and better things. So thank you so much. So if you don't know the backstory, let me tell you a little story. Story time. Everybody grab your blankets and your juice boxes. I'm kidding. Your beer. Hold your beer. Okay. In 2006, I had Victor, the co-host, sorry, Vic, co-host Vic, and I started having chest pains right after I came home from bringing him home from the hospital with my husband, and they took me back to the hospital, and I didn't have blood clots like they thought. I after a CT scan with contrast, they saw a tumor in my chest and it was pressing against my heart and my lungs causing the pain. So they set me up an appointment with a heart surgeon. And I was like, okay, this is weird. This is crazy. Slinky says hello, by the way. So I go to see Dr. Zolfagari, who was the heart surgeon. And he's like, this has got to come out. He's like, this is your thymus gland. It's metastasized into a tumor. Um, we have to make sure there's no cancer cells with it because that could be the beginning stages of Hodgkin's lymphoma or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So I had to wait several months, like three or four, till I was fully healed from having Coho's Vic and we had a terrible ice storm that January, 2007. I was still working at the CBS Fox affiliate at the time. Um, so, of course it gets postponed. It was supposed to be the 12th, but it ended up being 13th because he was stuck in Israel on a trip. And um, so I have the surgery done. Good news, it was benign. It just grew into a tumor. So, bad part, I got MRSA staff in the hospital. So, certain portions of my scar look awful because of the way it had to heal. And I lived. Sup I, I was totally blessed that it didn't go to my heart valves. MRSA staff is a bitch and it deserves to die. And vancomycin killed mine, but it's not the same anymore because it's, it's antibiotic resistant. So because of all my drug allergies due to my cutaneous mastocytosis, thank you for that disorder for once in my life. I was saved by vancomycin. They went right to the most powerful medicine at the time. So I just want to give a shout out to the heart team at Farrell Duncan. They are, I've worked with those people for seven years. They are amazing. They love what they do and they take very good care of their patients. They have great bedside manner. Get to know what's going on with yourself. If I hadn't realized, cause I'm an, I have asthma and it's a part of my allergies and my cutaneous mastocytosis. If I hadn't have known you know, this doesn't feel like an asthma attack. This doesn't feel right after having a baby. I would have never found out until it was too late that I had a tumor in my chest. So every day is a blessing. And I know sometimes it gets hard because I've been there lately, but I try to count my blessings as much as possible. So count yours. Okay. 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 All right. So party people, I'm going to give another shout out. My cousin is celebrating her birthday today, interpreter Valerie. 
and she's a pie day kiddo. So happy birthday, Val. Miss you terribly. Wish we lived closer, but I hope you have a wonderful day. And Slinky says hello. All right, party people, as we always say, party on. Bye, guys.